welcome to my code coffee in this chapter i will explain how a node discovers a bitcoin network and how it gets added to that network we discussed in previous chapter that main bitcoin network is a flat peer to peer network without any central server this chapter is focused on this main bitcoin network so going forward whenever i say bitcoin network it implicitly means main bitcoin network which has no central server you can think of central server architecture like a school having a principal and then many students so to be able to get admission to that school you first need to connect to that principal and if she allows you then you can be part of that school a peer to peer architecture like that of bitcoin blockchain is like an open club where all members are equal you can approach any member of that club and join that club only precaution you would want to take is that you connect with more than one members just to ensure that you are connecting with at least one real member of that club because if you connect with only one member and that member is fake you are being cheated you are not connected to the network that you are thinking very same thing applies when your node wants to connect to a bitcoin network number 1 it can connect with any other node of the bitcoin network and number 2 as a precaution it should connect to more than one nodes there are three steps involved before a node can start feeling at home in bitcoin network first step is node discovery second step is node connection and third step is block download so let's talk about the first step So here is a node you can call it bootstrapping node because it bootstraps which is currently not connecting to bitcoin network and has to discover the first node the first peer what information do you think it needs of course it needs ip address of that node uh, there are several ways in which it can get ip address number 1 it can get ip address from servers called dns seeds dns seeds are actually dns servers which has the list of ip addresses of bitcoin nodes a lookup query will give ip address of full nodes that may accept new incoming connections bootstrap node can try to connect to any of these full nodes on port 8333 another way is to use ip address of seed node bitcoin core maintains a hard coded list of ip addresses and port numbers to several dozen nodes mm. which were active around the time that particular version of the software was first released Once bootstrap node has discovered one bitcoin network node next step is node connection let's say node a is bootstrapping node and node b is the remote node in the network which was discovered by node a to make connection node a will send a version message to node b this version message will have p2p protocol version node a speaks list of local services supported by this node current time ip address of the remote node which means node b as seen from node a ip address of the local node which means node a and sub version information in return node b will send version acknowledgement message after that b will send version message and in return node a will send version acknowledgement message after this node a can send get address request to the network nodes to get the list of ip addresses of other peers So now that the connection is made next step is to start downloading blocks the version message that node a has sent would also contain best height which is current blockchain height let's say that node a is a new node so it has no blocks but it will have genesis block anyway because genesis block is embedded in embedded in the client software you know that block height of genesis block is considered to be zero so the version message which node a sent to node b will have block height of 0 when this message will go to node b node b will know that block height of a is less than its own topmost block height in this case node b will send inventory message which is nothing but the hash of the first 500 blocks when node a will get the hash of first 500 blocks it will start sending get data messages with the hash of the block which it wants to get so in this way node a will start building the chain of blocks node a will keep track of blocks which it has already requested but not received because it should not request same block to more than one uh, to more than one nodes also it should not cross that limit of maximum blocks per peer it's not that full node will have to get blocks from its peers only for the first time in fact whenever a full node goes offline and comes online again it will have to request for new blocks that might have been added during the time it was offline
Of course, now it will be much less number of blocks and the process of syncing blocks will not be as long as it was for the first time. So as you can see, a full node, which means a node which maintains full blockchain has to sync their blocks every time. In fact, it's better to call full node as full blockchain node because full node means a node having full blockchain. The advantage of having full blockchain is that it does not depend on any node to verify its transaction. In fact, if a node wants to perform mining, it must be a full node. Of course, here I'm not talking about pool miners or stratum miners who do not maintain full blockchain. I'm talking about mining node in main Bitcoin network. And I should add here that an ideal node which adheres to the decentralized principle of blockchain must be a full node. But the thing is, there are nodes who just want to verify the transaction and they're not in the business of mining. They have a way out where they don't need to maintain full blockchain. These lightweight nodes are, ca are called simple payment verification node or SPV node. In next two chapters, we will see how payment verification or transaction verification happens in full node and how it happens in SPV node. Stay tuned for next chapter. If you now want to move to the next chapter, you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.